have uncovered a supervision of foster teens that was so incredibly lax that some of those teens were committing prostitution. Those findings are part of a broader scandal revealed by an eight on your side investigation of foster kids living in a gas station parking lot. Investigative reporter Mark Douglas tells us now what Hillsborough detectives found. Well, the results of this investigation, Stacy and Josh, have been a long time coming. Six months, as you just pointed out. Special victims investigators interviewed nearly three dozen witnesses, suspects, and victims before closing this case. It all started with reports of troubled foster teens turned loose in the community to fend for themselves. Back in January, we uncovered foster kids living in caseworkers' cars at this Wawa gas station. At the same time, Hillsborough Sheriff's detectives were investigating something else. Foster kids dumped in parks, libraries, and public housing projects without supervision, food, water, or money, and no steady place to sleep. They were just being, you know, moved to a different place every night. One foster teen told detectives she runs and does whatever she needs to do to get money to buy clothes, food, or whatever her needs just to survive. That what she is doing, she is doing on her own. That she does not have a pimp, and she is tired of people saying she's being trafficked. Another unsupervised girl disappeared for nine days. I'm floored the risks to the children that occurred. People would be shocked to hear that kind of thing. Yeah, and I'm shocked too. Um, I'm just as shocked as you are that uh, that this kinds of things happened, and it, they will not happen under our watch now. The detectives also discovered foster parents demanding up to $500 a night to house hard to control kids, foster kids going without school, sleep, or showers, foster care managers who claimed ignorance and blamed other managers and caseworkers. Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren reviewed the 158-page investigation, expressed concern, but concluded that nothing criminal happened. From what the investigation revealed, what they were doing, what um, Eckerd and their subsidiaries were doing was not acceptable. Eckerd Connects fired the agency that was handling Hillsborough foster care when this happened and hired Chris Card to oversee Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Pasco counties. Eckerd is now operating under a corrective action plan ordered by DCF. Okay, so this might be wishful thinking, but is the problem solved? I wish I could say yes. Uh, unfortunately not. Some teens are still on that night-to-night -night placement, and they're still sleeping in offices, a problem that we've been documenting since January. So yeah. they're still working on that part. All right, Sad. Mark, thank you for that. If you have a problem you want Mark to take a look at, call our 8 on your side helpline. It's 1-800-338-0808.